Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Ken Levine. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach, and today we're going to be talking about the top five breathing exercises for singers. Now, before we get started, it's important to understand the role of proper breathing in singing. When we sing, we need to be able to control and manipulate the flow of air through our bodies in order to produce the desired sound. Now, this means having a strong and flexible diaphragm and proper breath control. So without further ado, let's dive into the top five breathing exercises for singers. Number one, diaphragmatic breathing. Now this exercise is designed to strengthen and engage the diaphragm, which is the muscle that controls the flow of air in and out of your lungs. Now to start, you wanna lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground, sort of like you're gonna do a crunchy or something. Now place one hand on your stomach and the other on your chest. Inhale deeply through your nose and allow your stomach to rise as you fill your lungs with air. Now exhale slowly through your mouth, pushing the air out with your diaphragm. You can use like a, a, a sound or like a hissing sound to help control the air as it escapes your mouth. Repeat this process for several minutes, focusing on keeping your chest and shoulders relaxed. Number two, breath control. Proper breath control is essential for singing as it allows us to sustain long phrases and control the volume and intensity of our sound. Now, one exercise to improve breath control is to take a deep breath, exhale slowly through a straw. Now, the deep breath can't be one of those shallow breaths, but one that sends the air all the way down to your belly button, just like we did in exercise one, focusing on making the exhale as long and controlled as possible. Now, another option is to sing a series of long sustained notes on a single breath, gradually increasing the length of the phrase as you improve. Another way to look at this is uh, what the old Italian method was to um, increase your ability to sing long sustained notes as well as manage the volume of your sound is an exercise called Messa de Voce and for this exercise you want to crescendo through until you feel that you've you've gotten to your loudest point and then diminuendo or decrescendo on your way out and doing that in long phrases this will really, really help your, not only your breath control, but your volume control. Now, exercise number three is the yawn sigh. This exercise helps to relax the muscles of the throat and increase the range of motion of the larynx, which is the part of the body that produces sound. Now, to start, take a deep breath in and let out a long, exaggerated yawn sigh, allowing the sound to flow freely, like this. Oh. And as you exhale, allow your jaw and tongue just to relax and to let the sound resonate through your chest. Now, repeat this exercise several times, gradually increasing the volume and intensity of the sound. All right, now number four are lip trills. Lip trills are one of my favorites. I use them all the time. Lip trills are a part of exercises known as SOVT or semi-occluded vocal tract. They help to strengthen the muscles of the lips as well as increase your breath control and really get that relationship of how much air you need in order to sustain an energized vocal sound. Now to start, what you wanna do is loosen your lips and create sort of that motorboat sound as if you were a kid, you know. It looks funny, but man, does it ever work. Now, as you exhale, allow the sound to flow freely and evenly, keeping your chest and shoulders relaxed. Now, on every inhale, and this is important, you continue to send that air all the way down to your belly button, take that deep, low diaphragmatic breath, and you need to repeat this exercise for several minutes, gradually increasing the speed and the intensity of the lip trail. Now, breath exercise number five is the siren. The siren is an excellent exercise for improving breath control and strengthening the muscles of the diaphragm. It's also incredibly liberating and freeing to your voice. Now to start, you wanna take that deep low breath, deep low diaphragmatic breath, all sending the air all the way down to your belly button and then exhale slowly, now making a long sustained woo sound that starts low 
and gradually gets higher in pitch. Ooh. As you exhale, allow your chest and shoulders just to relax and let the sound resonate through your body. Now you want to repeat this exercise several times, gradually increasing the range and intensity of the sound, taking the sound all the way up through your register breaks and back down again. Ooh. Let that energy just dissipate towards the end of the sound. Now this exercise is complementary to a whole host of technical singing skills, not just breathing. So don't just employ this as a breathing exercise, but one that you use in every single warm up. I hope these breathing exercises have been helpful. Now remember, proper breathing is essential for singing and these exercises can help you improve your control and your flexibility. Now as always, be sure to warm up before singing and listen to your body to avoid overuse or strain. Alright, happy singing everyone and we will see you next time.